They say that the world is your oyster, and today the world is literally my oyster as I stand up on Bernie's rooftop deck to find a few pearls. Let's go slurp some oysters. <laughs> As the chilly winds of fall settled in here at Hampton Beach, the world enjoyed a few oysters with a nod to the summer past and to benefit local oyster farms. All the funds that we're making today are all being donated back into the farms that you see here. These guys are out there almost all day every day to supply these oysters and this is a, gives them a little bit of fun and something to come back to and enjoy a little bit of what they have to do. It was the last oysters of the summer, so we did our best to eat as many as we could, all in the name of charity. Here we go. Mmm! They just keep getting better and better as we go down the line. We ate oysters all afternoon long from some of New England's local oyster farms like Swell Oyster Company, Hidden Coast Shellfish, Virgin Oyster Company, Little Bay Beauties, Fox Point Oysters, and Denarius Aqua Farms. We bought an oyster farm in Durham this past year. So this is our first Oyster Fest. It's been an awesome experience. We're pumped to be here, and we look forward to many more in the future. And because we all know that oysters are best served with delicious cocktails, guests also indulge in libations from Deep Eddie Vodka, Patron Tequila, Bacardi Rum, and Stoneface Brewery. What's been your favorite part thus far? The oysters. Heard that you're a new bride. Yes. That As is. of like two hours ago. A couple hours ago, yes. So you got married. Yes. Today. Today. This morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then you come to Oyster Fest. Oh, absolutely. I couldn't think of anything better to do. I mean, we love oysters. That's one of our favorite things. So absolutely. It was a gorgeous day to enjoy incredible views, oysters, cocktails, and of course, a little Pogo's hot sauce. We actually started with our friends over at Swell here. Um, it's engineered for oysters. So it's got that perfect little mild heat, nice bright with the citrus, almost like a mignonette, and then with the onion and garlic to round it out. So it's perfect for the oysters. And then we move on a little more heat on our OG sauce, which is our flagship. It's a uh, pineapple habanero, nice sweet lingering heat. So nothing that's scary, but it's, it's, a, it's a very, very good versatile sauce for you. I've eaten plenty of oysters in my day, but this, this is nothing like I've ever seen before. And I'm so excited. How did this company come to be? So Gulf of Maine Conservice was established in about 2019. The idea of it is that it's just really high quality, small portion seafood that is uh, to be enjoyed as it is. The term uh, charcuterie would ring a bell, but this is like a seacuterie, right? So you have a cutting board, add some almonds, maybe some potato chips, some sourdough bread, olives, pickled onions, add some tinned fish to it. All of a sudden you have a meal. This is going to be something that people look forward to every summer and really make, uh, make a big deal out of. And it's just going to be easy because we have such a great family that's doing it. The team of effort that everyone gives is uncomparable so this is something that we love doing and we love making an opportunity and we love sending off the summer with a bang not only does oyster fest wrap up the summer but it also wraps up the biggest week for oysters here on the seacoast but fear not you can still come up to bernie's all fall long for more fun and dancing and food up here on the rooftop deck reporting for dirty water media i'm gianna gravelisi